Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about some new Dior products. This is kind of a fun launch to me because they feel more like permanent items than they do like limited edition items. I don't know how long any of them are sticking around, but what we're gonna be talking about are the new foundation stick, the contour and bronzing sticks. I believe they're both called contours, but they are not. And then I also have ooh, three of the powder compacts. And this is, let me show you. So again, when they launched these, it's two that are contour highlight duos and then four are blush and highlight duos. So this is the contour and then blushes, blush and highlight. Now, a little bit of background on the what was released so we do have a foundation stick it looks like the foundation stick shades align with shades already in the line I believe it's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna guess and I can't look it up and then we have the skin contour sculpting sticks the sculpting sticks were released in four shades three of them are contours one of them is a bronzing shade and then the powders, we had two contour highlight duos and four blush and highlight duos. The cream products are available on Sephora as well as the Dior website. The powder products so far only available on the Dior website. I'm unsure what the plan is. I don't know where else they're coming. I have worn these products a few times already. I wanted to try the foundation a couple of times to really get my opinion on it and the first time I wore it, I was just kind of having a bad day, like a bad skin day, a bad energy day. And so I didn't really like it. I was kind of bummed uh, that I purchased so many items. That has not, so I definitely like wanted to try it more. I've now worn it three times. Today will be the fourth time my opinions leveled out a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get into some swatches and um, I'll do a couple comparisons, though not a ton. If you ever want more comparisons, just let me know. I can always post those on my Instagram. All right, so the first shade here is the Cream Contour, and that's a pretty thick swatch. This is the shade 03 Medium. I'm gonna blend it out a little. So it does sheer out pretty easily. And then I'm going to show you O2 Tan. So you can see the difference in undertone is like severe, which is why this one is to me a bronzing shade. And then obviously that one is a contour shade. I don't really have a lot of cream contours. Cream con contour at all is not really something I historically... I spent a lot of time doing. Just real quick, I do have the Victoria Beckham Contour Stilo in the shade Marble. So I can swatch that next to that contour. So that's Marble. And you can see that undertone is actually sort of right in the middle of these two. I think that's my only contour. I don't have like Westman Atelier Biscuit. Oh, wait. This is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour Duo. Let's swatch that one. Swatch that here. Again, kind of in between. It leans a little bit warmer for sure, but it does have a little bit of that kind of shadow tone to it. And then for cream bronzers, I have the Makeup by Mario in medium. Actually, this is kind of contour too. So that's Makeup by Mario in medium. And then I have NARS in O2 Laguna. Also cooler, a little bit more neutral, truly, than the Dior. The Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer in 01 Fair. Wow, these are all... 
Nothing's quite as warm as this new Dior one. I wasn't really expecting that. And then the Too Faced cream stick. This is really nice. I kind of bought this on a whim. It's a little thicker. It smells like chocolate orange. And that's a Too Faced. So the Too Faced is the closest in warmth. Hopefully one of those comparisons helped kind of put this on a spectrum for you. But yeah, definitely that Dior one is warm and kind of warmer in comparison than I had expected, which is kind of funny to me. For some reason, all of that wanted to stay in my hand, but this is the foundation stick in the shade 2.5N, which on the back of my hand looks light, but I think we're good to go. And then just as a little comparison, Next to it, I have the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in 2WO, Too Warm Olive. You can see the undertone difference there is pretty significant, but depth-wise they're similar. And what else? Let's do powders next. The Contour and Highlight. This looks very dark, and I know that. I almost chose the lightest one, but I had watched other videos these products all came to australia first which is happening kind of a lot recently and i i think that's kind of unusual but anyway i had watched night star beauty here on youtube and she and i are similar in skin tone depth and so she had chosen this one maybe she got both of them doesn't matter this one actually I think is the right shade. The other one swatches so light. So you can see that ends up being not not that not nearly that dark. And that's with a finger swatch. So a brush is significantly different. I'm real quick going to go back into that cream contour, but I'm just going to dab a little with my finger. And this is the Dior Cream Contour, Contour. So you can see how those are similar and a little different, which is why I got both. And I wanted to, I was really curious about these formulas. Okay, now I'm gonna do the highlight. And these are a baked formula, which is pretty new for Dior. I don't think I have any other baked powders from Dior. Now onto blushes. This is the shade 757 Wild Dior, and I just got it because it was an interesting color for me. That's the highlight from that one. And then this is the third one. This is 457 Diorette. And I purchased everything from the Dior website. The shipping took like a week to get to me but I don't pay for expedited shipping because paying for shipping means less money to spend on makeup. <laughs> All right, that's swatches of everything. Let's, let's go ahead and get into it. I can't say that this is gonna be the most elegant application. You know how this goes. I try to show you everything on my face at one time for better or for worse, right? So we will be doing some of that today. Now I did mention I've worn these products Previously, the only thing I haven't tried on my face actually is that Wild Dior, that plum blush. So that'll be a first today. Let's go in with the foundation stick. And this is really nice. It's creamy, obviously. It does have a fragrance. It's like a kind of a clean floral, um, but it is fragranced. So if you hate fragrance in your makeup, this probably is not it for you. And then I'm just gonna use this fairly dense brush. This is the Pat McGrath foundation brush. And one of the things I've kind of noticed about this foundation stick is it's one of those foundations that first application, like when you first apply it, I don't love it. Uh, I don't really know why And I'll look at it up close and maybe be able to 
speak to that better. But so And I think part of it is I can just see it looking ever so slightly makeup-y when I'm trying to blend it in. Kind of like the pigment sits on the skin. However, it wears really well. So I think it just needs that time for your skin to like heat it up a little. And if I applied makeup with my fingers, that would happen more quickly. But I don't like I don't like applying makeup with my fingers. It's just not my favorite. So I'm just kind of pressing it in. And there is the foundation stick. Right? It does blend out really fast. That's super nice. I'm gonna go in a little bit with that Dior concealer just right here. And the Foundation stick is pretty emollient and really slidey, but it does it does settle in. Anyway, I will powder, but I'm gonna powder at the very end. I'm not gonna powder right now. Let's go in with the contour. So again, this shade is 03 medium, and I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss F2, which is this kind of um, smaller, very round shaped brush. And I'm just kind of lightly tapping. So I'm not getting a ton on the brush because contouring is scary. And when I look like down like this, I can kind of see where that natural shadow is on my face. And I'm just contouring. I'm not good at contouring if this doesn't come out good. Relax. Part of the reason that I don't contour is because it's always been really hard for me to find where I would put contour on my face. And then I got my, I had Invisalign and it kind of changed my bite a little. So it also changed the shape of my jaw a little. And then, not the shape, but like the set of my jaw, I guess. Anyway, made it a little bit easier for me to find where to put that shadow. Okay. So that is the cream contour applied really lightly. I'm not gonna apply it heavy because I don't want it to look weird. I want it to stay looking relatively believable. And then, actually though, I could put just a little right here. I'm gonna grab a pretty lightweight brush. This is a Sonia G Worker L for the powder, and we'll do the powder contour on this side. So same kind of thing. I'm just sort of looking down so I can find that natural shadow. And then you can see where it's applied. So this is a pretty like lightweight, fluffy brush, and it's still picked up enough of that powder for me just fine. If you're my skin depth, you can definitely go for the darker shades if you want to be able to use them with abandon instead of being light-handed you can also go for the lighter shades i just wanted something that i wouldn't have to spend a lot of time building up but that i could go in with a light hand and blend out this looks worse okay I'm going to take, this is that same Wayne Goss brush, but I've wiped it off and I'm gonna I think that'll do for the sake of this comparison and like I said, contour is not my thing. I'm learning, but you can see the undertones are quite similar. Depth of them is quite similar. The cream is easier to blend out. So if that's something that concerns you, like it concerns me, I would go for the cream. 
The powder I don't think is hard to blend out. I think it should, I should have powdered and blended it on top of powder. But I didn't and here we are. Now let's go in with the bronzing shade. And I'm gonna go in with this, what is the, this is the buffing bronzer brush from Anissa Beauty, I believe is the brand name. I have three brushes from this brand and I do like them. So just a little bit there. And you can see like compared to the contour shade, wildly different in undertone. A little warmer than I usually prefer. And then I'm gonna go in with a little, kind of just right here. It is a warm shade. And it's the only shade of the creams or powders that is a bronzing shade, which I just think is an interesting choice for them to do one bronzer but three contours. Because then it seems like, why do the bronzer at all? Who knows? Because it's definitely not a universal shade by any means. Because there isn't, that's a fake thing. But, I mean, this shade think is a pretty divisive type of bronzing shade with it being so warm. And I'm gonna take just a tiny bit on the corner of the brush and do it right here on my nose just for some color there. All right, so that's the bron- oh I didn't do contour. I can't. Let's do powder contour down here. Trying to go real light. Should we do a blush on each side? Why not? I'm gonna use a Refer 04, kind of a smaller, Refer brushes are goat hair that I think is a little less soft than most of like my Sonia G natural hair brushes, just as a reference point. So it's not stiff and scratchy, but it's not my softest. And that's because baked powders um, can need a little bit more firmness in a brush to be picked up well. Okay, I think this is a good color. I definitely think it'll be a good fall blush shade for me. I'm gonna build it up a little, but not a lot but I think that's a good color. Build it up a little bit more. Just for the shade. Yeah, I like that color. I wasn't super scared of these because baked formulas can be harder to pick up, which means they tend to be a little bit more sheer and buildable. So you can kind of air a little intense, I guess. And then here is the Duret shade. I can build this one up just a little bit more than the purple shade. But I think that looks good. I am going to swatch the three highlighters on the back of my hand. And I'm going to go in the order of the powders that I applied. Because I want to see... I can't apply three highlighters to my face in an effective way. So that's the one that comes with the contour shade. That is the one that comes with the plum. And I see a little bit of a difference between them, I think. The contour one actually looks a little bit darker. There's a little bit more base pigment there. And then this is the one that comes with the coral blush, which is actually, undertone-wise, quite pinker. 
but maybe less of that base pigment. So I think I'm going to do the two blush highlights with their blushes and we'll leave alone the highlight in the contour duo. And in part because I went in with my finger just now, this brush picked up quite a lit lot, so I'm going to tap that off. I'm starting kind of gently, just really buffing. Okay, so that's pretty subtle. Okay, this is nice. These are, it's definitely building the effect, but it's not going crazy. Nice. Okay, I like this. Let's go in with the one from the Coral Duo. The eyebrow hair going nuts. So they're definitely, I mean, I can see a difference in the undertone on these. I think I like the inclusion. I like that they're blush and highlight duos, contour and highlight duos. I think that does make them more versatile because they go together pretty well. And I can see a difference between these two. It's strange because it actually almost looks like the one in the plum is on my skin tone looking just like a little bit more natural than this one. Maybe not. I like them both. Maybe I'll put a little bit of this, this highlight just on the bridge of my nose so we can see it. I don't think bridge of the nose really usually gives you a lot of interpretation of like depth, but just for fun. Oh, but you can see. There is base pigment in that one, so use your discretion, go lightly. I mean, that's everything from this collection. And then I'll use Nude Mitza. This was one of the lipsticks from the summer collection. I'm probably gonna wear mis mismatched blush today. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyes yet. I really want to get the Dior Single Eyeshadow in Beige Mitza. I don't own it, and it just feels like I'm missing out. Let me know if I am or not. I guess I'll give final thoughts on the products. That felt so fast. The foundation wears beautifully. I have dry skin. I live in a hot climate. Hot for me, I guess. I live in Los Angeles, so and but I live in the valley. The valley gets hotter than... <sighs> if you live closer to the water anyway it wears really beautifully it will get shiny but I don't think it looks greasy I just think it starts to like meld together really beautifully and even now you can see it is starting to do that just in the time it's taken to put everything else on the cream bronzer is warm but I think like once it settles into my skin and I finish my makeup I kind of like the way it looks but when I first apply it it feels very warm and as you saw from the comparison swatches it's warmer than a lot of the other things that are out there as bronzers. So there is that. The cream contour is a really delightful cream contour. And again, that's not a category I have a lot of experience in. So like, I know that Westman Atelier Biscuit and the rest of that series of contour sticks is like kind of the litmus test for contour sticks. So it feels weird to not have that to compare it to, but this is really nice. Uh, they're very creamy. They're really sheer. They sheer out really well. So I'm kind of into that. And this, I think, doesn't look... It does look just ever so slightly like it's giving me definition, but it doesn't look harsh or anything. So that's really awesome. And then the blushes, I mean, 
I like seeing a different formula from Dior. I think that's really cool. I like the duos. I think they're really stunning. I like that they made the highlights different enough that when you buy multiples, it's not entirely, you know, repeats. Obviously, you don't need all of them. Um, I didn't get the pink and lavender one, and I didn't get the lighter coral one because you just don't need all of them. I got the deeper one. This plum one I think is unique to my collection, and this is not at all unique to my collection, but is the kind of thing I really enjoy. Let's build it up just a little bit because I like this coral color and I kind of want to see it pop. Yeah. I like them a lot. It's... It's another one of those things like, do you need it? No. Will you regret it? Probably not. If you generally speaking like a cream stick foundation, the Dior one is very nice. I think it's a little bit more emollient, a little shinier than like the Tom Ford stick was. Maybe a little bit more, I, it's not like, it's not greasy. So I'm not really sure the texture words I'm trying to convey but it does stand out a little bit within my cream foundations, my stick foundations, because I'm thinking of the Ilia, and I think it's a little bit different than the Ilia, the Bosma, a little bit different than that. Like I said, I think the Tom Ford one is a little bit more matte. So I think the um, Makeup Forever stick, that one feels thicker. It also looks really nice. This one feels a little bit, uh, fairly lightweight, honestly. I think it's a very good product. The cream contours and bronzers nice if that's a product that you're looking for i think the contours are definitively contours and that tan shade is definitively a bronzer so i wouldn't call either of them neutral they are very cool and warm the blushes are really nice i like them for being a baked formula i think i like them better than the chanel summer duos I just like the finish a little bit nicer. That's a bold claim, but I think these are nicer than the Chanel duos. So it also depends on if there's a shade that you're looking for. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm gonna go do my eye makeup off camera. I don't know, I've been, I'm gonna say this in every video that I never know what to do with my eye makeup but I never know what to do with my eye makeup. And part of me is like, I'm just gonna put on mascara and this is it, I don't need eye makeup. That's how I've been feeling lately. But then why do I keep trying to buy eyeshadow? <sighs> Leaving this off here, cause I'll keep rambling. Hope you liked this one. Let me know if you're interested in any of the Dior stuff. A reminder, the cream stuff is at Sephora so you can wait for a sale. Uh, friends and family sale is going on right now. If you have a code, I. I got a code. I don't have codes to give out, but this year has been the hardest year to get one. Wow, I'm struggling with an outro. Hope you liked it. Hope it was helpful. Let me know what you think. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.